In this video, let's start with some applied problems in case of maxima minima. We already know what is maxima, what is minima. We have not seen any numerical problem such as in the case of problem sums. Let's start with it. The question is a previous year examination problem. It says show of all the rectangles with the given perimeter square has the largest area. That means it says that if you have been given many types of rectangles with some given perimeter, it might be noted that the square has the largest area. The square would be having the maximum area. So, let me make it very much clear. A rectangle having length, having breadth. The opposite side is equal to it. This is also length, this is also breadth. But a square, a square has the specific property that its all sides are equal. If I name a side as A or E or S, all would be the same. That is a square. Now, rectangle and square have much similarity that the opposite sides are parallel. But the difference is that here only opposite sides are equal in the rectangle, but here all sides are equal. So, square is a special case of rectangle with all sides equal. Let's start with the proof and understand what the question says. It says, rectangles have been given of a given perimeter. So, let perimeter is equal to P, which is equal to twice of length plus breadth. If I name length as X, breadth as Y, my solution would be for perimeter is equal to 2 into X plus Y. Now, you have to name this yourself, right? Labeling should be done yourself. Let P is equal to perimeter, X is equal to length, Y is equal to breadth. This is equation number 1. And area of the rectangle would be x into y. This is equation number 2. You can name it yourself. Now, what does it require? It requires for largest area. Largest area means you have to actually maximize the area. Means the differentiation has to be done of equation number 2. But maximizing, minimizing, differentiation is possible with respect to one variable. Here we have two variables. So, we have to eliminate y. So, what do you do? You use 1 to find out y. y is equal to p by 2 minus x. And this is your equation number 3. When you have y, let's put in 2. So put equation number 3 in 2. I have area is equal to x multiplied by y. Right? Expanding px upon 2 minus x square is equal to a. Let's name this as equation number 4. Now, Differentiation can be done. So, let me differentiate 4. So, dA by dx is equal to P by 2 minus 2x. And we can find out a stationary point by putting this equal to 0. So, put dA by dx is equal to 0. So, you get P is equal to 4x. Equation number 5. Now, compare the equation number 1 and 5. It says p is equal to 4x. It says p is equal to 2x plus 2y. So, from 1 and 5, the comparison says 2x plus y is equal to 4x. Or in short, 2x plus 2y is equal to 4x. Or in short, x is equal to y. x is equal to y means the all sides are equal. So, it is coming out to be a square, but my solution is still not complete because it is coming out to be square, but square with the largest area that we have to prove. So, we have to maximize also and maximization would be possible after the second derivative. So, finding d2a by dx square, differentiating dA by dx all over again, it becomes minus 2x, differentiation is minus 2 and that is less than 0. Second derivative less than 0 means maxima. So, maxima from here, square from here, that means we have proved what we needed to prove, hence verified.